Today, the, um, when it comes to uh, pipe and conduit penetrations for mechanical and electrical applications on uh, metal deck, uh, the main challenge, uh, there are two main challenges. One is to, to create the penetration, to create the opening in the deck. The second one is the fire stopping, because it's a complicated, complicated task and there's liability related to that. So uh, a wrong installation of fire protection would be really, really uh, critical. So as you see here on, uh, on this small video, we have the application installed here and you have the different steps that I explained on this video. What are the different steps when you want to install uh, a sleeve uh, on the metal deck? First, you need to cut the deck to create the opening. So most of the, of the uh, uh, customers, uh, mechanical contractors and electrical contractors are using a torch or a plasma cutter to, to generate this opening. That's what we see here. So this is a, a challenging first step because it's time consuming. It, re it requires to use a lot of equipment. You need to have the tank with the, together with the plasma or the torch. Um, and you need to move this on the metal deck, which is not a really easy because it's not a flat surface. Uh, and you need to have a skilled uh, worker to do this task because uh, you need to be trained. It's, a, it's not an easy task to, to achieve. And it's, it can also raise some safety concerns because it's a dangerous task to, to, to achieve, right? So this is the first thing, you create the opening. The second thing is to position the sleeve itself. So that's what we see on the, also on this video. You, have, you position the sleeve in the opening, so most of the time the sleeves are, are prepared in the shop before to be delivered on the job site because you need to have uh, some addi uh, additional reinforcement to be able to uh, fasten this to the deck so that it doesn't move when the concrete is pulled. This is a very critical step. When you position it, you usually weld these reinforcement here that you see to the deck so that there's no movement. And after that, the, the last two steps is to fill the gaps created around the opening. Because you can imagine when you want to make an opening like we see on the, on, on the video, it's not really easy to make a, a hole that will be exactly the size of the conduit and of the pipe, right? So the, the challenge here is usually it's, a, it's a over it's a very large opening to make sure that the, the conduit can go through. So what contractors do is they fill the gap usually with a, a, a PU foam, polyurethane foam, most of the time, so that the concrete will not go through the opening. Right? And the last step is the, to close the conduit, because if the concrete, uh, when it's, uh, the, to close the sleeve, sorry, because when you pull the concrete, the risk is that the concrete will go over if you over. So these different steps are just the installation of the sleeve itself. After the concrete is, uh, is pulled and dry, then you re the contractors revisit the opening to install the pipe. And then they have to come back again to install the fire stopping. So they use usually mineral wool that they stuff around the pipe and a sealant, intumescent sealant. So this is all, these are all the, st the different steps to create the opening and run the pipe, which is uh, really time consuming. Uh, it requires to plan very well in advance because you have to come back uh, a lot of time to the, to the, to the job site and you have to, uh, to train the people very well to achieve this uh, complicated task. So now the, the proposal that we have is to come with a new innovative system and I will propose you to come closer so that I can show you the, the portfolio. So we have an innovative system that we put together that uh, includes uh, different components. The first component is a platform that you will position on the deck. This will allow two things. Two things is instead of uh, 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 reducing the rigidity of the deck, it will increase the rigidity of the deck because this platform will be fastened to the middle deck. And this will allow you to position the sleeve where you want. So for the layout, it makes it much easier because instead of having a surface that is uneven, you have a very flat surface to position the sleeve. So you can position your sleeve, you can fasten it to the platform, and now you're ready to pull the concrete. The good thing is the only remaining uh, step that you have is to come back to drill through the sleeve. You don't have to install a fire stop because inside this sleeve, the fire stop is already included. So instead of putting a metal sleeve, you see inside here, you have the intumescent uh, material. So it's an intumescent technology. So we have intumescent strips that we have in inside. And this will close the gap when the plastic pipe will melt in case of fire. Okay? So this is in, in, included inside, inside, inside the, the device. So now, when we, later, on a later stage, we come back and we have to uh, go through the sleeve to create the opening. 
And for this, we have an innovative cutting system that we designed that includes a, a guiding sleeve and an innovative hole saw. So this is the first hole saw on the market that can cut a metal deck. This has nothing to compare with the hole saw, the traditional metal hole saw that you can find on the market. This has a carbide included in it that will allow this, uh, this uh, tough uh, task of cutting the, the metal deck. A metal deck is a very thick and uh, material. The gauge is really, really heavy. And uh, it's pretty common when you, when, you, when you install your sleeve that the sleeve would be positioned where the angle of the, of the deck is. So that means that when you want to cut through this part, you have a vertical part of the metal deck that you need to cut. This is the result you will see after the cut. This is what it gives. So it was really critical to design a hole saw that would be able to address this type of cutting. With a traditional hole saw, the, 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 the cutting would not be efficient, it would, and the, the lifetime the life, uh, of, the, of the hole saw would be really, really short. The robustness is really, really critical here. So this is a summary of the, of the portfolio. Um, what I'm uh, proposing now to you is uh, with Daniel to go through the installation process and to see how it works in the real life for something so the the reason is when you pull the concrete it's pretty common that the concrete is a little bit higher than the level of the sleeve so that's uh, usually on the on the wood deck people would when the, the wood deck is re removed people can come under it and identify the sleeve but on the metal deck as the opening is not done yet you have to find a way to find the, the device so you see you see here when the concrete is pulled the whiskers will allow you to identify where the sleeve is to find it and then to open the sleeve use a total station that you can see in that corner what they have is uh, they have the drawings in a in, in, in an electronic file they load the drawings in that total station and then they know where the pipes are gonna be so when they are doing the layout they are gonna determine where my devices my new devices are gonna be so if I determine hey I need to install a pipe in here they're gonna come they're gonna install the platform then I'm gonna mark, I need to install my device in here, and then they are gonna screw it to the deck. We are replacing all this complex uh, operation that the customers have to do with an skilled labor by only having to screw a platform and a device on, on the deck with metal screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, perform the operation. So basically, what we need to do to place four screws. ready we will install all the sleeves that we need in the floor and we just leave it like that then there's a reinforcement proposed by the structural engineer they need to run rebar all around the floor and then they will pull the concrete.
Great. Uh, so this is the first step of the installation. You see that we, we replaced a very complex and, and time-consuming uh, step to something that is require minimal effort. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, an apprentice on the job site could do that. Pretty easy, right? And it also makes the layout much easier because now you have a you have a flat surface, right? So now the next step will be the general contractor team will install all the, the, the metal um, rebars on the job site, all the reinforcement needed according to the, the structural engineer. And when the concrete is, is dry, now they can come back to run the pipes. The last step before to run the pipe is now to create the opening because we still have the metal deck under it. And that's what we're going to see with the next step. So the thing that they have to do is to remove the lead that is on the, on the on the sleeve, so we, it's already done here for the purpose of the of the demonstration, and then they're going to drill through using the guy the guiding sleeve and the hole saw. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just insert the guide sleeve, so we can see the metal platform inside. We are gonna cut the platform and then we will cut the the metal deck. pretty easy and fast. So in terms of productivity, I think the, if you compare this with only the step of using a torch, the productivity gain is, is uh, dramatic. Uh, we have a, a productivity increase of about three times. So when we measure the, the, all the integration steps that we have between the traditional methods and these methods, Installing, uh, cutting the sleeve, installing the, the cutting the deck, installing the sleeve, and fire stopping. It to total will be about 20 to 25 minutes per opening. Here we can realize all the fire stopping and the installation of the sleeve and the cutting in four minutes. That's about three times the productivity. So, to summarize the the, 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 the message that we want to, you to take away today is. Um, this new innovative system will bring uh, ease of use for the installer, um, much less material. So this is, a, we have, a, oh, thank you. <laughs> we have a very innovative uh, hole saw that will allow you to uh, cut the deck, uh, which is something that was requiring, requiring uh, a torch before. Uh, the installation of the, of the fire stop is really easy. Take it with me. <laughs> it's kind of cool to have you holding this. But. Okay. Sorry. No, no, that's fine. So, as a summary, so innovation. We have a new hostel that is very innovative that allows you to cut the deck much faster than what uh, people do today with the torch. Um, we have an innovative uh, uh, fire stop sleeve that includes uh, the, the, the intermittent strip inside. And um, we, so this is for the innovation. We have the productivity gain, about three times faster to install compared to the traditional methods. And the safety. So three things in safety. One is of course, you don't use a torch, you have much less risk to, to have injuries on job site because this requires to have special skills. It's a pretty dangerous uh, material to, uh, to, to handle. Um, and, you, and you also need a fire watch to make sure that people under would not be, would not be hurt. So you have the people safety, this is the first thing. The second thing is the safety re regarding the structural integrity of the deck. Uh, structural engineers are very concerned when people uh, do uh, openings in a metal deck before the concrete is poured because the rigidity of the concrete would be reduced dramatically. By having this system, we, we cut after the concrete is poured, which means that we keep the concrete, uh, the, the deck uh, integrity uh, like it was originally. That's the, the second thing. And the third thing um, is, of course, the fire stopping. 
by having a preformed device that doesn't, doesn't require any uh, destructive test, the inspection process is much easier and there's much less risk to have wrong installation or mistakes done during the fire stopping related to uh, using a sealant where you need to measure the thickness and you need to install properly the mineral with the, with the right compression. Here the fire stopping is already included. So as soon as you put your sleeve, that people do anyway, the fire stop is already there.